I want to go off track here a little bit and, and talk to you as a, an ambassador for fitness and, and just the field in general. I mean, if you had an opportunity to speak to a group or when you do get a chance to speak to a group of, of individuals, what's one real sound quality message that you really like to make sure that people walk away with? That's a really good question. I, I would say always be learning. You know, it, always be keep, keeping an open mind, always, always be growing, expanding your own practice, expanding your own mind. And honestly, man, I know it sounds cliche, but I'm dealing with trainers every day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a story, and I don't want this to come off as bitter or cynical because it, it's certainly not. But on the one hand, there, there are trainers who really, they are on it, man. They, they're on it. They, they understand about submitting their CECs. They understand about you know, renewals, they understand about uh, the nuts and bolts of the game, and they, they're just right on it. But then there's sort of like what I like to look at as the holdover, you know, the bad old days of the, of the, of the early 80s and 90s when, you know, there was trainers everywhere and, and anyone could call themselves a trainer. The, the profession is raising the bar. Slowly but surely, in my opinion, the bar is being raised. And when I get, I still get some of these folks that would call us to be like, I lost my, my CECs or I don't know how to renew my, my ACE or my NASM or my ACSM. Or I'm like, what, what, how do you, how, how are you functioning as a professional? And that's the key word, you know, like you, you, you've been doing this for how many years and, you know, you don't behave like a professional person everything for example is is down in in our in our course like many others everything is digitally delivered i'm going to give you a a little bit of a pet peeve but it, it i think it serves to answer your question everything is digitally delivered everything is 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 in an autoresponder sequence we're on top of it in terms of our technology uh, man, I can't tell you how many times, every time we have a, per, a, a an instructor training, there's, <laughs> there's always a few people that go up to the senior instructor and are like, how come we don't have any course manuals? <laughs> you know, like everyone else has downloaded their PDF, it's on their tablet, you know, or they printed it out or whatever the case may be. There's always people, how come we don't have course manuals, you know, or they, you know, despite multiple, multiple follow-up sequences, multiple messages, you know, oh, I didn't, I don't know how to check my spam. I don't know how to check my bulk email folder. This is just common sense 101. And yet it, I see it all the time. And it, it sort of makes my, you know, it's sort of a little disappointing sometimes because it's like, man, people are putting their bodies in your hands, you know, and, and you, you're, you're coming back to us with this, like, where's my course manual, <laughs> you know? So I don't want to say that it's, it's not everyone is like this, certainly not. You know, this is a very, very, very small percentage of people. Um, the majority of the folks that we deal with are just, like I said, they're just on it. But sometimes you get something like this, and any business owner, I know any business owner who's, who's in this particular field, they're definitely agreeing with me right now. You know? And because we're a small company, sometimes my assistant is in, other times you know, she's not. So I, I deal with this stuff a lot. You know, I pick up the phone a lot in my business, and, <laughs> and it just never ceases to amaze me. So I really, really would encourage fitness professionals to constantly challenge themselves, man, to raise up that bar to get that education, to keep the education going. You, there, I don't care if you've been doing it for 20 years. You know, man, don't be one of those guys or girls who are constantly insisting, I've been there, I've done that. Really? You've been there, you've done that? Science is always evolving. New studies are always coming out. For, you know, some studies aren't academically valid or have holes in them. Are you a critical thinker? Are you poking holes in those theories? Are you turning this stuff around in your head like you should be? You know, and, and that's the kind of fitness professional the clients respond to. That's the kind of professional, in my opinion, that's going to make it long term. You know, and again, I, I realize I'm speaking here as a, as, a, as a teacher and as a guy who's got education in his core, but it's, it's so important to me because I, I see it on, on the front lines. Well, Dave, man, I really appreciate you taking some time out of your day here to not only shed some light on the kettlebells uh, as, as a tool for training, but to talk a little about your business and, and give me some insights into some things that I can improve on, on on my end as well. I mean, I really enjoy learning about your passion here. Obviously, you have a, a, an unbelievable energy level as far as teaching goes and, and actually getting this curriculum out there so people can learn and actually start implementing it safely into their program. 
I look forward to keeping in touch and learning more about it uh, and, and seeing how I can integrate it into my program. Um, if, if it fits and it can help my athletes get better, man, it's, it's, I think it's my duty to, to do my, my service and my justice to, uh, to be educated and knowledgeable about uh, actually implementing into the program. If anybody was listening to what we were talking about here, and I hope they are, um, you know, where, where would you suggest they go to find out more information about kettlebell training, uh, to find out more information about the, the curriculum that you provide, and maybe even to reach out to you specifically? They can reach out. Uh, we have a great white paper written by, like I said, our Director of Education, Vince Metzo. You could reach me at info, I-N-F-O, at kettlebellconcepts.com, and I'm, I'm certainly happy to pass that on. There's a, a, a good bunch of resources I could steer people to if they are interested. Have them email me, and I, I could certainly put them in touch with some different kettlebell studies that are being conducted or have been conducted, which is wonderful to see because, you know, Western research was, was fairly scarce with, with true academic kettlebell studies, and now there's you know, there's really a bunch of them that are that are coming out or have already been published. So I could certainly steer people in that direction, and uh, you know, and and I'm happy to do so because the more studies that come out, the more research around this thing, um, the more academic exploration, the better. Well, again, Dave, man, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day. I look forward to keeping in touch here. If there's anything I can do to help you guys, uh, please let me know. Uh, and I look forward to learning more information from you guys. I'm really appreciative of the opportunity, Coach, man. You, I think what you're doing is great. You have a great platform. Keep doing those interviews, and uh, I'll, I'll definitely spread the word as well. I appreciate the kind words, man. You have a great day, big dog. Thanks so much.